Hi, it's my heart to heart this week. And I want to talk about lots of different things because we're ending one month of do more, you know, mixed, re mixed results from that. Um, I do want to talk about do more a little bit. Um, one of the things I always like to tell people is we can go so wide with things that sometimes we forget to go deep. And so I always like to say to people, they actually already know what they need to do, right? In order to create the work you want to create, it's great to take a class. I am not gainsaying that because, hello, part of my living is through making and having classes. But I think we want distraction right now. And what we really need to do is just be calm and peaceful and show up to our frames however it feels. And you know, we've already went over this once this month. Sometimes it feels terrible. <laughs> that is the struggle we go through of ownership. Yeah, I sounded fierce when I said that because I do feel super fierce about it. We cannot continue over our trajectory of learning not to at some point say I'm done taking in now I want to put out and it's good to have guides to help you and it's good to understand things but nobody has the answer I just got a book from Rug Hooking Magazine and I looked through it and I thought you know what almost everybody already knows all of these things because information is widely available to us now when I first wanted to hook I was like a little scurrying rat I, I, could, I couldn't find anyone to tell me I couldn't see anything I couldn't find any books about it didn't matter where I looked it was like a little secret society if you knew someone who knew someone who knew someone maybe you could learn to hook but now you can learn to hook with no problem and you can get your tools everywhere and you can find out anything you want to do but what we're forgetting to do and this is the most important thing about doing is do more hooking okay less looking and doing more hooking that's all I have to say about do more and so we're gonna put that aside now and we're gonna talk about our months to come our month of November the most horrible month of the entire year, I believe. I don't know. February is a close second, but we're both at the same point with them. The low light situation, right? Long nights. Um, what we're going to do all November is play. It's our manifesto, and it couldn't have been better planned. I didn't mean to make that happen. It just was through the way I had written the list years ago, but here we are, it's November and we're gonna play. And I'm super happy about that. Um, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of new things. I'm kind of taking a shotgun approach to my work this month and I'm gonna try things and see what sticks. One of the things I wanna try is Friday Dye Day where you join me for 20 minutes and we can dye something together. And I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be a Zoom class and you will subscribe to it. And whether you can come or not, you have to be present. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to record it. Uh, and it's going to be happening in the now. It'll be us showing up to where we need to be. And that'll happen around 10 uh, a.m. Eastern <laughs> Standard Time. I might switch the time because I know a lot of you are way far away. And that's like, oh, you'll be getting up in the middle of the night. But I have to say, you know, an early rising doesn't hurt anybody because I get up really early. Because um, even just doing that revivifies us and renews us. Sure, we might feel tired, but we're seeing new things. We're looking at things, we're seeing the sunrise. We can look outside and see amazing things that we don't ordinarily see while we have our head on the pillow. So November is about turning it upside down and playing in new ways. And there's a bunch of other things I want to do for us too. I'm going to give you little prompts and little excitements, and we're going to have a class in November. Yeah, we are. And um, 
I really uh, wanted to explore the idea of darkness during this month. You know, I'm a daughter of darkness, and yesterday I put a dark mantle on the welcome mat because the color we are looking at is dark blue, Prussian blue, navy blue, all those deep, dark deliciousnesses. We're going to look at that. We're going to learn how to dye that. And we are going to have a lot of fun with the idea of dark and embracing darkness this month. So today is Halloween, of course, and I want to wish you a happy Halloween, but it's also sewing. And I want to wish you a happy sewing as well. And I found this great kind of poem that's associated with it because it's a celebration, a Gaelic celebration of the end of harvest. And it's sort of like a time to take a rest and to gather yourself together again. And guess what? Because we did the harvest. Now we have time to play. So here's our little blessing. May what is good come knocking. What is bad pass your door. And may you have what you need to take you through the dark as the world turns. I think that's really wonderful. You know, when I give you these little heart to hearts, I don't want to castigate you in any way. I do want to encourage you and I want to inspire you. And when I started this conversation, I said, you already have everything you need. And I really believe that. I believe that um, well, you can't have the faith in that, I will hold that for you. And while you think that these things are impossible for you to achieve, I already know you can because you already have in you what you need to meet those desires that come up in you. It's a wonderful system we have, <laughs> isn't it? But the problem is up here. <laughs> if only I could give us all a lobotomy, including myself, because it's always the thinking about things that makes our life difficult, makes us fearful, makes us believe that we can't, makes us feel like things are insurmountable, when really I've noticed more and more over the last six months or so that if I can just stay present in the place and time I'm in and stop being in a hurry and stop, you know, wishing for whatever hundred tasks I have to do to be done you know I'm never done that's the foolishness of it all I always have other things that need attention so why not just be here now I know it sounds so silly but if I am then I have time to show up at my frame I have time to show up for myself I was thinking today too because I'm doing a bunch of like uh, writing work like little journaling work, things I think of and things that I want to have happen. And one of the questions I ask myself is, what, who are you now? What do you want? What is going to bring you joy? What is going to bring happiness to you? And these are the things you'll be an exploring or an explorer with me in partnership during, uh, during November. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. So I want to wish you all the best this coming week. And look for my little um, informational letters that I sent to you, send out to you on the welcome mat. And if you um, want to, you can throw out some good ideas about your thoughts on darkness and your thoughts about the turning of the season and where you are and how you feel. Who are you? You can tell us. It's a good thing to do. So from my heart to yours, have a great week. And happy hooking. Stop your looking. <laughs>